Question number 8. Diagram 4 shows a curve and the tangent to the curve at point A. So there's a tangent here at point A between two curves. One is the U-shaped curve, one is straight line curve. Question A. Find the value of P. So value of P is basically the intersect, right, where they, they touched the tangent. Okay, so what we're going to do, we just do substitution. So we're going to substitute two of this equation. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this, the y equals to x squared minus 9. x squared minus 9, I'm going to substitute into the y value there. Okay, so I'll have x over 5 minus the y becomes x squared minus 9 over 10 equals to 1. So I'm going to rearrange to find the value of x because the value of x will represent the p value. Okay. So let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to times 10. Times 10. So I get uh, 2x minus x squared plus 9 equals 10. Please make sure it's plus uh, because you're going to expand this. Okay. So it becomes plus. Now rearrange this. I will have, I'm going to shift everything to the right side. So I get x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1. So factorize, when you factorize, you get the same value actually, x minus 1, x minus 1. So in other words, x equals to 1. And when, wait, are they asking for coordinate? No, they're asking for value of p. So x equals to 1, therefore p is equals to 1. Because the x value is the p value. Okay, alright, question b. The area of the colored region so there are two regions here so i'm guessing the colored region will be the black color one inside here not the, the i think the other one is the shaded region so we're not going to do that so we're going to do the colored region so the colored region if you want to find the area we can do based on the x-axis okay so we will use this curve the u-shaped curve but we need to know what is the intercept of the curve because you want to know the range we already know the p value is one but you want to find the x intercept of that curve so the first step here question b is we want to find the x intercepts of the u-shaped curve so y equals x squared minus nine x intercept means y equals to zero so x squared equals to nine x equals to plus minus three okay you square root of nine plus minus 3. So that means one side will be negative 3, the other side will be positive 3. So that means the area of this uh, colored region is going to be, wait, uh, let me write here, A equals to, we're going to integrate integrate from, from P value to the 3 there. Okay, so it's 1 to 3. Okay, and since we are doing in terms of dx, because we're using the x-axis, right, dx. So the value here, the equation here must be in terms of x. So that means it's going to be this. Lah. In terms of x means x squared minus 9. Okay, that means y is the subject. So then we can integrate. So integrate, we get x cubed over 3 minus 9x and then 3, 1. Oh wait, one more thing. Don't forget to modulus. Yes, you have to modulus this thing. Why we have to modulus? Because if you don't modulus, you'll get a negative answer. Because this is at the negative part of the x-axis. So make sure you put your modulus. So in the end, you will get negative 18 minus uh, negative 26 over 3 when you substitute the 1. And don't forget to modulus. So your answer is 9.33 units square. Okay. Alright. Question C. The volume generated in terms of pi when the shaded region. So shaded region is this one here. This part. And also there's a bit of shaded here. So there's two region actually. So find the volume of the shaded region when the shaded region is revolved through 180 degree about the y-axis so you're going to rotate around the y-axis 180 degree 180 degree that means it's only half the circle okay it's only half so later we have to find the total volume minus uh, sorry divide by two okay to find the 
half the circle. So anyway, we are going to go around the y-axis. Okay, let us do it here. So the volume, volume equals to pi, and then we have to know the range, right? So from here, this we what we're going to do is to find the volume. We are going to find using the straight line first. So the straight line will form a cone. Okay. And then we're going to do one more is using the, the U-shaped curve. So the U-shaped curve is going to look like, uh, it's not a cone, what do you call this? I don't know what you call this. But anyway, it's going to look like this. Uh, okay. So we find the first one is the cone. The cone, we need to know the intercept. Why? Because we want to find the range from here. Wait, I'm going to use a different color. From this side here to zero okay we want the whole thing okay we want this so it's going to be from the y intercept here so the y intercept for this equation is negative 10 because i remember you all uh, i hope you all remember how to find the y intercept uh, for this this is the y intercept okay if it's in this format the y intercept is this negative 10 so that means here is negative 10 all the way to zero so negative 10 to 0 okay and then we are doing in terms of dy correct so that means the equation here must be in terms of y because you're doing on the y-axis so in terms of y that means i need to rearrange this because i'm using the straight line i need to rearrange this to get the equation uh, make y the subject so it's going to be okay let me rewrite this uh, originally it's minus 10 so i'm going to bring this to the right and the one to the left so i get y over 10 equals to x over 5 minus 1 then times 10 i'll get y equals to uh, times 10 i get 2 wait, wait times 10 2x wait am i doing it right 2x Oh wait, yeah, I am doing something wrong. I am supposed to make x the subject, not y the subject. Because we are using, uh, we are integrating in terms of dy because we are using the y-axis. So here must be in terms of y. So that means this equation has to has to be x as the subject. So I have to re rearrange the y over 10. So x over 5 equals y over 10 mm, plus 1. Then I'm going to times 5. So I get x equals to 1 over 2y plus 5. Okay, so this is the uh, equation. X as the subject. So now I'm going to substitute here, but please beware this one has to be, this, this has to be x square. So that means uh, this, this one here I have to square it. So 1 over 2y plus 5 square dy. Okay, so this volume is the volume of the cone. Okay, now we have to minus the volume of the the whatever shape you call this okay this one using the u shape one so the u shape the range is what from here the y intercept for the u shape is negative 9 so it's going to be pi negative 9 to 0 and then same thing we are we have to make x as a subject so i rearrange this rearrange this i get x square equals y plus 9. I don't have to square root it because I I am looking for x square. So in this case now if I'm using x square as y plus 9, I don't need to square it anymore. So it's going to be y plus 9 dy. Okay, I don't have to square it. Like here I have to square because this one is just x. Okay, but here I don't have to square because it's already x square. Alright, so now we just have to solve it. So first step, pi, so I'm going to expand it first. So I get 1 over 4y square plus uh, 10 over 5, right? 10 over 5, is it 10 over 2? So it's 5y plus 25 dy minus pi negative 9, 0, y plus 9. Okay, I expand first. Now I'm going to integrate so when i integrate what i have is uh 1 over 4 y square integrate so here becomes 3 then divide by 3 we get y cubed over 12 
okay because the 3 times 4 here so y cube over 12 plus 5y square over 2 plus 25y okay minus the second one is y square over 2 plus 9y negative 9 0 okay so just substitute and what you will have is 0 minus uh, negative 250 over 3 so plus becomes plus 250 over 3 minus so this one will also be 0 then negative 81 over 2 so becomes plus hey, sorry, 81 over 2 okay so when you minus okay when you minus this two what you will have okay wait, this one will be 250 over 3 pi minus 81 over 2 pi so when you minus what you get is 42.83 pi okay 42.83 pi so it's a unit cube okay but this is not the final answer why because we are only looking for 180 degrees so we have to divide by so the volume, the real volume is actually 1 over 2 of 42.83 pi. So the answer is 21.415 pi unit.